All right, so you've seen Saint 3D Foundation, the magic it can do, and now you're wondering where you get started, right? So you've got tons of options. Everything's totally customizable. So you can go from super basic to like me and super extra, okay? So we have all the way from that first size to triple decker compacts so that it, you can get exactly what you want. Also, shipping is free every time. So if you want to start with a big compact and just fill it up little by little, you can order things one ten at a time and that's totally fine. So let me start with the basics. So if it were me um, and I just wanted to dabble in this, you could just get your foundation here, your basic four. Okay, so the tens are magnetic and they're gonna pop right into your compact. So this compact is magnetic. So you'll pick your, pick your color. This is an all over color and it will pop right in there. They don't fall out. So you'll definitely need your all over foundation color. You will need a contour color. Okay, so that's gonna be darker to get the shadows and dimension. Then you will need a lip and cheek color. Pop, slide that right in. And then your fourth, you've got two options. I mean, you've got any options. You can do whatever you want. If you wanna put two eyeshadows there, you can do what you want. Um, but most people um, choose either a second highlight color. So you see how it's brighter than the first one. So that's gonna get you that extra pop under your eye um, or in those areas that you want a little brighter color. And that way, when it comes to do your makeup, if you get a little more sun in the summer and then you, this might end up being your winter color, I like that because it seems to be the most bang for your buck. The second option you could do is to get an illuminator. So that's how mascara, um, sorry. That is how, I lost my train of thought. That is how Saint originally marketed their makeup is to add that illuminator as your fourth color, okay? So that will just go on your cheekbones. You can throw it right here as a little extra shine, brow bones, and it's just gonna catch the light and make your cheekbones or your bone structure stand out. Um, so the reason that I like the other option is just because I feel like, I love Illuminator, I wear it every day, but I feel like it's an, it's an extra, it's a necessity, and I feel like, like the main color is more bang for your buck because that's part of your foundation, so you're gonna use more of it. So totally up to you. Um, other people choose to get a bronzer as, their last option. I love the Bella bronzer, the cream one. So this is the Bella cream bronzer and this is the Cayman bronzer. This is a powder. The cream one I love because it's the perfect shade to not make. So if your neck is lighter than everything else, so it doesn't look orange, it just made that the same color. So it just tanned me up. You can uh, use that to get your foundation to the right shade. So let's say you go up, you get darker, you get tanner. Instead of having to buy another color, you can get this. And the reason um, that I think it's great to start out with, and you can use it as a blush, is because you can actually get this brush and add that bronzer on for four bucks. So that's a great extra. So basically, that's what I would start with is your main four. That's gonna be $56 and you'll get, the more tens you buy, the more compact credit you get. So you could start out with just getting this compact and I think it ends up being $5 um, for the compact after you've bought those four colors. So. That's a great way to start. Or you can take that money you earn and put it towards a little bit bigger compact. So the next step up would be this, but two sides. Okay, so you'd have eight full size slots or 16 eyeshadows. So that's where you could add things like the bronzer and the illuminator or eyeshadows or setting powder. You build it all the way up. So I'll show you what I have. Um, because, it, okay, so that was your second size was this, but double, so that holds eight. Then you have the 3D palette 12, which holds 12 full size tins. So there's four across and then two this way, okay, so that holds 12 or 24 eyeshadows. Um, then you have, isn't this one pretty? Um, then you have, there's lots of different prints. There's some matte black, one that's like this, but it's just two layers. So it's gonna be like that. Mine's the triple, so it's this without the third layer. Um, that holds, let's see, 18 full-size tins or 36 eyeshadows. And then you have the 20 set, the 3D palette 27 which is what I have. So I have all my foundation here. So I've got a couple lip and cheek options. I want you to look at those and see how this one is more shiny, glossy, and these are more matte. So I love to start people out with a matte unless they do light shine like that, okay? So if you're not a glossy kind of person, the glossy ones feel great on your lips. I love, because um, remember these can be used on your lips. 
Um, I love them for lips. I love them on cheeks, but for starting out, when you're if you're used to coming from such a makeup that takes away and like just really kind of dullifies your face, um, or you're setting it and making that matte finish, it's a preference, but it's not as skin like. So if you're not used to the skin like dewy glow, you might want to steer towards the one of the matte ones. Which um, okay, so then you, then you've got your eyeshadows. You know all about those. Um, and then my last layer I use for setting. So setting powder, illuminator. I use both the powder illuminators. So that's what those are. And cream ones. The cream ones are more subtle. The powder ones um, are a little higher shine. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and I have my eyeliner in here as well. And this is my brow color. You, we also have a brow wax that goes in there. We have a little tin that you can put in that cleans your brushes like between colors. That's something that I'm considering adding on my eyeshadow palette when I'm switching colors a lot. But that's it, okay? Um, as for a brush, I have a whole video about brushes. You can ask for more specifics. But basically, um, my very favorite, if you're especially if you're new to contouring, is the detail brush. If you can only get one, though, this is the this should be everybody's second brush. I just love it. It makes contouring so easy because I can go make those lines right here. Um, they're already straight, and it's just I love it for contouring. There's period. It's always been my favorite brush. I'll never I can never do my face without it. Um, but if you can only get one brush, I recommend getting either the 3D brush, it's really fast, or the buff brush if you need a little more coverage, if you've got melasma hyperpigmentation. Um, and then I recommend getting this blush and bronzer brush. I, put, I can put my all over foundation on with that and my blush, okay? And then I go contour with this one. I love this pairing. And I can do my bronzer and all my blending with this. Um, and you can, so get that in the Bella bundle not the Cayman. I don't like the Cayman as much. It's powder, um, but the Bella bronzer bundle, and then you end up getting the bronzer for four bucks um, instead of just getting the brush and not having the bronzer. So do totally worth it on that. I love that pairing. If you can get two brushes, detail and blush bronzer or 30 second and detail or Buffy. If you need that full coverage of the buff brush, this is the buff brush with the fuller coverage. It pairs great. It's just super, they're so complimentary because they're so different with the B squared brush. And then lastly, I really love for under eye brightening and for blush and for illuminator, um, this uh, blend brush is probably my favorite for that now. I used to actually do it with the buff because I was like, oh, I need more coverage under eye. That's where my problem area is. So I did the higher coverage brush, but I actually using a lighter hand there and just a more less dense brush has been helpful for me. So. The more you spend, the more compact credit you get that has to be used in this order. Um, in your first order, it doesn't like roll over for your next order. So personally, I'm like, go big, get a bigger compact than you think instead of just the one you need so that you can grow little by little since the shipping is free. That's what I would do. If you have questions, reach out. Our artists always happy to support you. Thanks.